Welcome to this session on spring and outdoor learning in languages. I'm going to first of all start with supporting resources. There are a couple of things to get you going and for you to look at in more detail. The first is an ebook which is made with Book Creator and which focuses on the French language for vocabulary associated with traditions and festivals during the spring period. And there are sound files for each of the key words or phrases. There are also lots of links um, to different websites showing you um, these different traditions in France. There are also a couple of simple activities for classroom practice that are appropriate for all levels of primary. And then there are links divided up into first and second level to songs, animations, worksheets, and stories and rhymes. And lastly, there are links to um, activities for the other key festivals or traditions during the springtime. Lots to keep you going. There's also a wee PowerPoint of the session, and this is um, just a quick overview. Um, with ideas that are relevant for all languages. And then there are some examples specifically with videos um, of classroom practice that are in French. That gives you a good summary. Lastly, if you would like a little bit more information, there's a sway which goes through the different ideas for outdoor learning in more detail, looking at the six key areas with examples of classroom practice for each that are in English and applicable to all languages. So I'd like you now just to have um, five minutes to think about your own practice and I'd like you to note down two things that you already do in terms of learning languages outside, not just in spring but at any time of the year. Um, this session is mainly focusing on spring, but we can go outside all year round. Or if you don't go outside much for language learning at the moment, maybe think about two things that you would like to do. So you can stop the video and have a wee think, make a note of it. And if you've got other people that you could then chat to and discuss it with, feel free to do that afterwards. I'm just going to quickly summarise outdoor learning and the six key areas that I'm going to look at um, in these short videos. So the first is games, language games that you normally play inside and how can we do these outside? What games work and what do you need? Number two, I'm going to look at playground games. These might be games that children play in their own time or that you may be used um, uh, in other areas of the curriculum. So what English and also French playground games could we use? You might know other games from um, other countries that, um, that would be useful too. Number three, I'm going to look at PE um, and what, play, what games we could use for PE outside. Number four, I'm going to look at IDL or taking an interdisciplinary or cross cop cross-curricular focus. Um, number five, learning a bit more about the outdoor environment and using that as a stimulus. And number six, going beyond the outdoor environment in your local um, area. <laughs> 